So here's something that I like to do. Um, rather than rip everything out, all the weeds along the borders of the allotment, I like to kind of use those spaces as a sort of composting mulching area. Or maybe just mark them off with some bricks or some stones as a kind of more flexible border, really. So rather than digging right back to the fence and pulling everything out and leaving a lot of bare soil where I may not plant anything, I prefer to have these sort of things. I think aesthetically it's just nicer <laughs> and uh, it allows for little wild patches where who knows quite what might be going on frogs and birds and insects and spiders and all sorts of things might be living out their lives and something they couldn't do if I just pulled everything out I can recommend it if you've got an allotment or a garden, don't keep it too tidy. Something else that I like to do, here's a big tree branch that came off the giant tree up here in the autumn and it fell all the way along here. I've gradually been chopping some of the bigger logs off, wondering what to do with them, but also the smaller twigs that are now very very dry and just break off very easily like that. I use these as the border around one of my beds. <laughs> these were originally made from IKEA bookcases uh, about four years ago when I first got the allotment. <laughs> I think I've actually got that on video. Um, I may link to that here. But uh, anyway, as that's been rotting away, I've been replacing the edges of the border with these bottles which I use all over the allotment, as you can see. And uh, just around the edges of those, I pop down those twigs. Um, helps to contain any weeds or excess growth that might spurt out from the sides there, but I just think it looks nice. 